Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ishi and you are in Ishi Time and today I'm going to be talking about my TBR for The Reading Rush, which was previously known as the Booktubeathon, I think. And this is a seven day readathon that is happening from July 22nd to the 28th. This is my first time doing it. Super excited. The first prompt is to read a book with purple on the cover, and for this I've chosen to read Beneath the Sugar Sky by Shannon McGuire. This is the third book in the Wayward Children series. I haven't read the first two yet, but obviously I plan on reading them before this one. This book is about this girl named Rinny, I think is how you pronounce it. Um, she falls in a lake behind where she lives, and she finds out that her mother actually died years before she was even conceived, so she must find a way to restore her mother before she ceases to exist because obviously if her mother died years before she was conceived she wouldn't even have been born so she must find a way to restore her mother so that everything is in line with reality again before reality notices that she exists and she must somehow save the world as one does. The next prompt is to read a book sitting in the same spot the whole time you're reading it and for this I've chosen to read Maximum Ride Volume 1 by James Patterson, the graphic novel. I have loved this series since I was little, like in middle school. This series is about a group of kids who were experimented on as babies and now they have wings so they are like on the run. It's the classic found family trope. I am trash for it. I am super excited to get back into this. I think the art is really beautiful in this graphic novel. Highly recommend. The next prompt is to read a book you meant to read last year, and for this I've chosen to read The Night Circus by Erin Morgenstern. This is not only a book I meant to read last year, but also the year before that, and the year before that, and lots of years before that. So I'm excited to finally read it. Hopefully I read it. This book is about a circus that arrives without warning. No announcements precede it. It's here when yesterday it was not. Behind the scenes, you have a competition between two magicians, Celia and Marco, and in this competition, only one person can survive, but they don't know this and they fall in love. True love or not, they must compete anyhow because the game must go on and the outcome of this game affects everybody's fate. The next prompt is to read an author's first novel. I've chosen V.E. Schwab and her first book was The Near Witch which came out in 2011 and it was recently reprinted that's why there's like new copies of it in stores. This takes place in a town called Near where there are no strangers but one day a stranger shows up a boy who seems to fade like smoke and when he shows up children start disappearing from their beds so people are suspecting him. I hear that this is a very quiet, eerie, and strange read, so I'm excited to see what it's all about. The next prompt is to read a book with a non-human main character. And for this, I've chosen An Enchantment of Ravens by Margaret Rogerson. This book is about a portrait artist named Isabel who is hired to paint portraits for the fair folk. These fair folk are immortal, dangerous creatures who cannot participate in human craft or they're gonna crumble to dust. Isabel is hired to paint a portrait for someone from the fair folk royal family. His name is Rook, but Isabel makes a fatal mistake when she paints mortal sorrow in his eyes, which is something that's very dangerous for him. So he whisks her away to stand for trial, but they go through this whole dangerous journey and learn to trust each other and fall in love. But basically, Rook is the main character and he's not human, which is why I've chosen this book. The next prompt is to pick a book that has five or more words in the title. And for this, I've chosen Voices, The Final Hours of Joan of Arc, by David Elliott. This book is a book of poetry about people and objects that have come across Joan of Arc while she was alive. And the poetry on like the page itself is formatted to look like swords and trees and like all these cool shapes. I am really interested in the story of Joan of Arc. We studied her in like history in middle school, but I was really interested. So I did my own research about her like after out of school. So. I'm really excited to see what this book of poetry is about. And last but not least, I have to read a book and watch its movie adaptation. And for this, of course, I have chosen Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone, or the Philosopher's Stone. I have not read Harry Potter since like grade six, so I'm very excited to get back into it. Maybe I'll read like one Harry Potter book a month. We will see, but this is my TBR for The Reading Rush. I really want to try and finish all seven of these books. So we will see, it's gonna be a hustle week for me. 
that is all. Anyways, like and subscribe. My name is Ishi. Thank you for spending time with me and I hope your day is as wonderful as you are.